Hi guys, I'm Laura Parker and I'm joined by Justin Calvert to talk about The Last of Us. Justin? Hello. Hi. How are you doing? So we both saw The Last of Us um, at E3 and what were your impressions of the demo we saw? Well right now, right now The Last of Us is pretty much my game of show. Uh, pretty we're much? Certainly, <laughs> it's still day one so I don't want it to is. say anything too concrete yeah. on that. But yeah, it's pretty much my game of show. I think and one of the main reasons for that is not just that the press conference demo was obviously awesome, uh, but the demo that you and I saw, which was actually kind of the same demo. But, but it expanded on it. it. It expanded on it and they just played through things in a totally different way. And so that reassured me that all that cool shit you're seeing, all, that, all those character interactions and stuff, that's not just scripted. No. Like it's just very clever. And that's <laughs> one of my favorite things about this uh, this game so far that we've seen is the the, the dialogue between. So there are two protagonists, mm -hmm. um, Joel, who is the who you will be controlling, the main protagonist, yeah. grizzly kind of bearded dude, and Ellie, Ellie who is the twelve year old. Mm -hmm. And um, when they talk to each other, it actually feels like. A real relationship. It's not like yeah. some like that macho stuff or the you know, um, and, he, and, and, and the way they interact with each other as well. So it seems that I don't know if you got this from the demo, but it seems that he doesn't really help her with anything. Like when she's climbing down from ledges or when she's scrabbling behind furniture, if there's a fight, he doesn't actually say, "Ellie, watch out," or "Hey, are you okay?" and stuff like that. He kind of just lets her do her own thing. Yeah, I was actually really surprised at that. I'm, I'm yeah, really too. glad you noticed it because yeah. there was one point where I think they were. Or it was even just little things like she'd be jumping from a pretty big yeah, height, yeah, and I'm just like, wow, he, he's already wandered off and he's doing other stuff. He's not there to kind of help her down, or yeah. like there were bits where he would maybe give her a leg up, yeah, but that was that was only because that was the only way they could both you know, get up reach there. something. Yeah. But see, that's interesting because um, I thought that maybe that has something to do with the context of the game. So, oh, you know, they're obviously something to do with their relationship. So, did you think? What did you? Th what do you think about their relationship? Do you think they're so, father and daughter or? Yeah, so to, so to clarify, we went we went to the same demo, but we went at different times. Oh yeah, right, so we so, so, in, <laughs> so in my demo, like the guy definitely made a point of saying that they had, they have like a father-daughter relationship, yeah. but I didn't, I didn't take that to mean that they are father and daughter. I just meant, I thought it was like, you know, he's encountered this girl who's on her own at some point maybe, and he's kind of, yeah. you know, adopted her in some way and is yeah. looking after her. But you apparently... I know everything about you know this game. The deal. I've made this game. No, I'm going to cover my ears because you're going to spoil everything. No, no, I'm not going to spoil Okay, she's not going to spoil So, um, obviously, as is widely known, the game is set in a post-apocalyptic metropolitan city environment and there's been some sort of outbreak and mm -hmm. there are people called the infected you know, yeah. I don't know whether they're zombies or whatever, but um, basically Joel, uh, the main protagonist, was born before this outbreak, so he was born in a normal city and mm -hmm. he knows what normal life was like. But Ellie, the 12 year old, was born after. So she's kind of been oh. brought up in, in this environment where she has to scavenge and survive. So she's a lot tougher and that's why okay. he doesn't help her from ledges and he doesn't ask all the time if she's okay, it's because she okay. knows how to do this stuff. Because she was, you know, she was she's badass. Own, exactly. Right. So are they father and daughter? No, no, they're just, he <laughs> they're just, not. no, okay. apparently he, he helped her escape from some sort of prison compound, whatever, and that's how they met. Okay. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so, and I think we can't talk about The Last of Us without talking a bit about the combat. Let's talk about right? the combat. Because I think they, so obviously we saw a ton of combat in that pretty press brutal. conference it demo. Was very brutal. But I think some of it was even better in the demo. What? At least the one that I saw. Are you talking about the one with the pipe? Well, he got yeah. There's a bit where he found a lead pipe, yeah. and it was oh, yeah. it's really slick because as soon as he picks it up, he just slots it up here, so yeah. it's like there with his backpack. And because he has that, I guess in theory, like enemies might react differently because they see that he has a lead pipe. Yeah. So you know, as opposed to him using his bare hands, like enemies might be a bit more wary. But yeah, he was beating the crap out of people with that. And there was another part where I think he was holding like half of a. I don't know, you guys have like breeze blocks over here, it's like a huge brick. Like he's holding like half he of one. smashed the guy's head in it. Smashes, yeah. like he's hiding behind the thing, this guy walks around, he's like I think And he doesn't stop at just one. Like you think just one hit would be enough to... No, no, he just, he keeps he's going. Like, he's like destroying the guy's face. It, 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 it's obvious that, you know, this character is used to the sort of violence. Like he doesn't oh, flinch yeah. or anything, but um, I think they, they did explain that uh, players, like you can go through the game 
without like without necessarily killing everybody or beating everybody in the head with oh, a brick. Yeah. Like if you want to um, do like a more stealth mm -hmm. kind of um, path through the game, like you you know you can scavenge and survive in different ways, so you don't have to go around killing everybody if that's not your cup of tea. Yeah, and in well, and in our demo, right? So in the in the press conference demo, there was that group of guys, and he took out all of them, right? Yes. Like four or five yes. of them, and it was awesome to watch. Yeah. In our demo. He like silently took out one of them, and then which of, he didn't even really need to do. I think he just did it for show. And then kind of just and then ran he just to slinked us. off yeah, and, exactly. and proceeded through the level. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, it's really awesome to see all the different ways you can approach it, and just the fact that the character interactions and the enemy interactions and everything like it's it all held up. It seemed like like I think however you play that game, yeah, it's it's gonna look like it's scripted. I you think know, it's like, yeah. I think it's shaping up to be an awesome game. Yeah. And I want to get my hands on it. I want to play it. But um, we'll have more on The Last of Us very soon. Lots more.